How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this boot review of the Copa Mundials, the Adidas um, iconic football boots. Um, we decided to go for the Germany colorway as Adidas have now brought out a various of different country colorways. Um, and yeah, you can check it on screen now. We decided to go with Germany as, you know, these Adidas were made in Germany, so this is where it came from. The iconic copper Copa boots, um, probably one of the most earliest boots um, worn by, or made by Adidas. Um, a really nice soft tongue and really, really comfortable as soon as you put your feet into the boots, as people would know that I've had a Mundell in the past. Um, number 10 here, maybe for the sizing to show. Um, and really, really soft leather-like material. I'm not sure if they've carried on with the the leather, the real leather, um, but this may be just a synthetic um, material that has that kind of really similar leather-like feel. But whatever it is, it's really, really comfortable. Um, and as soon as you put your feet into the boots, it's re um, the the boots will mold into your feet touch right away. And after one or two use, you'll be able to use them into something more competitive or fast paced um, because these boots are really soft and comfortable and also really flexible and stretchy too. Um, these are more targeted for firm ground, real grass pitches, um, but you can wear them on artificial grass. Just maybe wear them for maybe a week just to get used to the surface and it should be fine to wear on AG, AG pitches like 3G and 4G. Of course, it's not recommended from Adidas, but you know, from our personal point of view, we've tried it on. Um, and you don't want to if you don't want to get two pairs of boots, then you know just wear these. It should be fine for astro, um, sorry, AG pitches. Um, in terms of sizing as well, these run very wide in terms of the midfoot, very stretchy and really soft material, which allows a wide and very wide feet to web, uh, wide feet players to wear these boots. So that's why they're so popular throughout the years because they can fit all feet types. So if you have very wide feet, recommend going maybe a half size up. Um, or and try true to size and see how they feel and then go from there. If you've got wide feet, just go true to size. They fit really nicely and give you a bit of space in the toe box area. Um, and then for narrow to normal feet type, we recommend going a half to one size down to get that snug and tighter fit because of how wide they run with the two piece material and the tongue here. Now these boots are um, an old school boots. There are some similarities that Adidas have brought out um, recently about over these past few years. So these are in, in between, would say, with the tongue, um, in between the Gloros being um, the cheaper models. These are around 150. You can probably get them cheaper when the price goes a bit down. And then compare it to, let's say we've got the Predator Elite, the FT versions here, which is the upper end, um, which is the old school Predator, Predator um, Elite FT. These are the most expensive one with the tongue. Um, both are really iconic boots really soft in the materials as you can see um, the tongue is a bit more um, wide and bigger with the preds um, but also really soft here and same with the copa icon and oh, no, sorry copa mundels um, really soft and really comfortable um, both boots are really good so with the copa mundels these are in between in terms of pricing so if you want a reliable pair of boots that are comfortable great for touch nice feeling for pass and shooting um, and has that kind of old school free straps with the Adidas boots, um, especially for a Copa that's a control boot, then we recommend going for these because yeah, these are iconic and super comfortable and reasonable price that will last you at least one season um, if you take good care of them and not, not train them all the time and use them all the time. Um, but if they start to tear off maybe on this side here, as we've had from previous uh, users that have used the Mundells with a bit of issues here then maybe get another pair like a Gloro um, and have two pairs alternate it and change it and not use one pair um, all the time so that the durability can last a bit longer maybe go for these German colorways and go for a different copper Mundell colorway or like a Gloro as we said just now um, that would be the best option for durability wise um, but yeah, all in all, a really, really good boot for its price, for its um, comfort, and we highly recommend these. If you have a pair of these as well, make sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section what you think of these, as it really does help out people when it comes to making a decision going forwards 
um, to getting a new pair when, it, when they're looking to upgrade. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe. And we'll see you next time for another playtest, unboxing and review. All the very best and take care.